What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Van Holtz, back again with another awesome podcast short from Urban Beardsman. I'm here with Clayton Cook. Hello, hello. And today, we're talking bags. Now, Clayton, you seem like a bad guy. I'm a bit of a bad guy. Not a bad guy. No. A bad guy. Bad guy. <laughs> and I wanted to tell our viewers here, what are the five bags, which seems like a lot, but when you start thinking about it, you probably already have these bags around. What are the five bags that our viewers need to have in their life? The five essential bags for every beardsman. Number one, you need a good gym bag. A gym bag. You got to keep them uh, smelly smellies away from them not so smellies. Yeah, you got stuff that nasty stuff, dirty socks, old swim trunks, uh, boxing gloves, tank tops, jock cream. You don't want that Ugh. in your everyday stuff. So it's good. You can also just like you grab it and go. You don't it's have nice, to think about yeah. it. Just grab and go. Easy grab and go when you're going out to the to the park, the gym, the the swimming pool, wherever. You get yep. hot and sweaty. Yeah. Now, if you're in the gym and you're doing a grab and go, it's probably not appropriate. All right, bag number two. Bag number two, uh, a solid, a backpack. Backpack? Or like uh, your everyday bag, Your right? everyday bag. This is like your go-to bag that you've got with you at all times. Like, So it can be a briefcase, a backpack. Messenger bag. Messenger bags are real popular. You know what I like? What do you like? This is my bag. Oh. Question. The question bag. See, this bag for me is just like... A combination of form and function. Like it's got these nice hidden pockets. Mm -hmm. It's got more packets than you know to do with one here. And then it opens up like real cool. Look at this. Stylus. Oh, I like that. And get all up in there. Carry your laptop in there. Yeah. You know what's cool about question? Specifically this bag? What's what's cool? And we saw it on our website. Oh. Urbanbeersman.com. I'm gonna have to get my one. You're going to have to get like six of them. Ugh. But uh, it's a nice high-end premium bag. Because it is an everyday bag, I wanted to step up and have mm -hmm. something that's really nice. Something that will wear well. I know you like keeping your bags for decades. Yeah. So Something that will last as long <laughs> as I'll last. Yeah, yeah. And then when you break it down on like the, the times you use it, it's really cheap if you're doing a little bit nicer bag. All right. Bag number three. What do we need? A toiletry bag. A toiletry bag? Yes. You, get, you need something. You got to carry you know, your toothbrush, your toothpaste, your beard oil, your deodorant, your soap, your ever. There's so many things you need. Yeah. And uh, they're also called a dot bag. Dot bag. I guess dot was like a, like a trade name that is kind of just, they lost it like Kleenex. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, I don't think Kleenex lost it, but. You get what I'm saying. And uh, yeah, man, like it just makes life easier too. Like you have this one bag, you pull it out when you're traveling, mm -hmm. you set it in your hotel counter. You don't have to thumb through like plastic bags. It's just, if you don't have a travel bag or a dot bag, you gotta get with it. You know what else is nice about them? Mm -hmm. Like it it does come down to that that function aspect. A lot of them will have like a water resistant or, oh, yeah. or a waterproof lining on the inside and it'll help prevent your your rest of your clothes from getting all dinged up. Your stuff won't get wet. If something leaks, it won't get everything else wet. There you go. All right. Bag number four. What do you got to keep in your inventory? Suitcase. Travel bag. <laughs> what is the... Speaking of traveling, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like a roller bag. Like yeah. your, your big duffel bag. You know, there's tons of different styles and things out there. I think, uh, you know, depending on how much you travel, how you travel, it could be anything from like a Manal backpack which you know can keep you keep you going like as you backpack around europe yeah you can, you can travel for days or the roller style you i know. just recently got a rolling suitcase samsonite yeah there you go can fit it in an overhead compartment yeah that's the big thing too and i think as guys we don't need to bring as many things as maybe uh mothers do so uh, a smaller bag is always better. And then learning how to pack is a big thing. Yeah. Take like a minimalist approach. Yeah. You can always buy it if you're going somewhere. Mm. Just don't worry about it. It's part of the vacation. Yeah. Travel light. 
travel light. And bag number five, what do you have to have on your inventory? This is my uh, miscellaneous utility bag. Yeah, like a, an accessory bag or just like a... It's really like a ba- bag that kind of fits your lifestyle that none of the other ones do. Like, yeah. what would you get? I need it to carry around. I have like a, some like art supplies, pencils, uh, sketching stuff, small ruler. Yeah. It's just easy to keep it all compact. Otherwise, it's all loose in my backpack. Yeah, things break. Keep things organized. Make it easy to grab and go. My bag within a bag is this Manal bag. And it's just perfect for like electrical cords and... You know, uh, my microphone for my camera when I travel. And just having that makes life so much easier and more organized. Yeah, like an electronics bag, a camera bag, something small and easy. Grab it on the go. Yeah, camera bag. Keep yeah, your it toys. Just, it really just comes to, it does come down to your lifestyle and how you live life and what's going to really accessorize and make you bag them. Yeah. Keep things in bags. Bag it up. As always, thanks for watching. We have a full podcast on this with the link down below. Cheers. Beard on. And beard on.